No, I don't want to do that. And we go back. All right. We just defeated Saren on Vermeer. Ugh, can't talk all of a sudden. <clears throat> and... Yeah, what do we do? We lost Caden. Let's check the journal. Raced against time. Report to the council. Did that. What else we got here? Got a lot of stuff here. And the Citadel. I don't think there's anything to do with that. Barely done any of those. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. 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 Talk to Joker, maybe? I haven't talked to Joker in a while. Let's talk to the crew. I think that's what we're doing. We'll talk to the crew a little bit. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir. I don't know if I could have done it. <laughs> hmm. There was no other choice. The mission is more important than one soldier. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Yeah. Let's fuck up Saren's world. Ooh, I can look out. Codex. Hmm. Could have sworn we already talked to. It is, soldier. So we already talked to the council, so I don't think we have to go back there and do that again, right? <clears throat> Chakwas. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Oh, I figured you'd have something to say. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Well, I am going to go talk to Liara. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Well, you're in good hand. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. Best doctor in the galaxy. Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. The hell no. He's no innocent victim. He was a ruthless bastard long before he fell under Sovereign's control. I know his reputation, but he was a Spectre. I think he honestly believed everything he did was for the greater good. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? <laughs> the inquiring mind in me goes, yes. But otherwise, I'm like, no. Yeah, lust for power. There's nothing noble about Saren or what he did. He got exactly what he deserved. Yes, I suppose you're right. I should not waste sympathy on Saren. Not when there are so many others who have suffered because of him. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Yeah, let's talk Maybe about you. Maybe we can you. pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Well, you know. But we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. 
You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable Well, when time is limited, you don't dilly dally. But also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. <laughs> it is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Uh, really? Because I don't think Shepard's doing that. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. <laughs> you didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more <laughs> about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something Ooh. compelling about you, Shepard. Unacceptable. <laughs> uh. mm. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. You're an alien! <laughs> uh... Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. <clears throat> My mistake then. I don't think I've even I talked to Williams. Understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? <laughs> oh, what do you say? What do you say? No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it. But he and is the captain of the too. ship. But does this not seem rather strange? Yeah, actually Why it does. Do I feel so close to you. We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Probably the mind melding. Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. <laughs> that is not the most romantic reason, is it? You make it all sound so dangerous. Yeah, it's the blood pumping. A little danger makes things exciting. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. This dialogue is terrible. Let's, let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Definitely have more people to talk to on the ship, though. <clears throat> And then we go to the galaxy map, so let's see, who next? You know, we I haven't even been to like the hangar where the Mako and everything is. <coughs> oh, that shadow is weird looking. Hey, you got his shadow back. Your yeah, needle and thread helps with that. Ashley's there. Rex is there. Oh, Solarians are there. See what they have to it say. It's an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. <laughs> he knew what the risks were. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps yeah. we'll have the opportunity to work together again someday. Perhaps, perhaps. I think our next destination is a little more... Oh, there's Tali. Ooh, hey. That's impressive looking. Like... New graphics do it justice. It's Adam's hey, up to say. You know that quarry in Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? 
No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I didn't. <laughs> no. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Yeah, just really... Hmm. Carry on, Adams. See how things are going. Talk to Tali, see how things Your are going there. Shepherd. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Oh, uh, we'll go with that. Normandy's a prototype, cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. Pretty much. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. That'd be a cool we game to, to play. Them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels... Like a migrant fleet captain or something. That's crazy. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. Okay. We've tried to make ourselves as independent Guess as the chassis holds up, tilly. right? <laughs> Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. You heard of asteroids? I kind of want to ask about the pilgrimage. Let's do it. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. When my people reach maturity, we leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. This is presented as a gift to the captain of the respective ship we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? That doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. It's not the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Hmm. I want to talk about something else. Like well, actually, I kind of just want to leave. But that was very fascinating, Tally. See you later. Alright, we actually came down here to check on Garrus. Talking to Tally is always fascinating. The Quarians, that's interesting. Commander. Nice work out there. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. <laughs> yeah. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. <laughs> But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. Hey, forget about you it. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. 
Yeah, come on, Gers. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. Let's fuck some Without shit up. headquarters looking over my shoulder, or maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Sounds good to me. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Never get a second guess. Actually, I did need to talk to the requisition officer. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies <coughs> before you head up? Specifically a got? heat sink. Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. Interesting hey, way of doing this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, ooh, shotgun. Let's see what that's like. That's like very good. <clears throat> It's like very good too. Ooh, medium ama. Mm, damage protection. No. <coughs> Grenade upgrade. Ooh, yes, please. Medical upgrade. Yes, please. A lot of stuff here. Gotta be pretty good, right? That's gotta be better. Just don't know which one just to get. Let's get really get them all. I don't think. <coughs> Actually, I think I can because most of this stuff is useless. <coughs> down to the bottom. It seems to work better this way. Man, I got a lot of stuff in here. It's just complete garbage. How does that contain upgrades? Ooh, I need to actually put that in something. Okay, we'll skip over the last two and just keep getting rid of these. Oh, dang it! Ugh, annoying. Inventory system is... yeah. Alright. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Alrighty. We're selling supplies. I think everything up to like seven. Should probably do this more often. I'll have this stuff I don't think we need either, but me. Good idea to keep some things around just in case party lines shift, you know? We'll get all these because they're really, really good. Those aren't any good. Oh, that might actually be good. No, definitely not. Okay. Go to the lockers. Well, first and foremost. That's done. Let's see, Rex. Karis. Yes. I always sit there looking for like the equipped button. There isn't one. Uh, definitely. 
<clears throat> I don't really think there's much. Oh, there is. <clears throat> That's substantial. Uh, I don't ever use my pistol. Where is Tally Eliara? Because she comes along sometimes. I think that's a good idea. Got some quarry and armor. She hasn't had armor upgrade in forever, so there you go. They are even, yeah, she can wear human, so. Ooh, that's pretty good. There you go, Liara. I don't even know what you got there, to be honest. Pretty sure there's a interface somewhere around here. See, this tells you how much I look at this. A dirt. Give you that one. For sure, he's ya. Garrus, he's got good. Oh, we can upgrade that though. Always a good idea. Oh, that was sad. <laughs> Why can't I open that locker? Ooh. There, take that. Chemical rounds. Jesus. When was the last time I had you on my team? I thought she could wear he heavy armor. Maybe I haven't leveled her up in a while. That's probably what it is. Commander, you have a minute to talk. Of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. Uh. With respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? Let's do that. They may not serve the Alliance, Chief, but they're allies, at least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems, engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We well, the Krogan aren't on the Council, so... We have to learn to rely on ourselves. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us mm, well mm, probably <laughs> the council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war I don't think it's a grudge I think it's look if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run you'll do it as much as you love your dog it isn't human it's not racism not really <laughs> members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are Mm -hmm. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. Mm -hmm. Well... All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, 
I'll ask which cheek. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? Maybe we should talk about Caden. <laughs> but Lieutenant Alenko, how are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. Jesus. Dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Torfin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, ruthless. Except death when we put on the uniform, Chief. <clears throat> if you can't deal with that, retire. I could never do that. Not before, and definitely not now. I have to be worth Caden's life. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it. That's a great endpoint. Hey, you seem like you're gonna have a lot of baggage. Bye. <laughs> All right, let's go to the galaxy map. This is enough talking. I need to shoot something. Should be like a rifle range or a rifle simulator on the ship or something, so you can like VR. And... That'd be cool. Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. About damn time. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Oh damn, this is like the end. We're very close. What are we doing? Are we getting to Mass Effect 2 today? Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, oh. the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, no, he is no, no longer a threat. This is over. <sighs> Okay. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. We did it. Your style stealth you well in traverse, Commander. We recognize that. The stealth but detonation. But Ilos requires a deft touch. <laughs> we have the situation under control. Oh, no, you do not. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. <laughs> Humanity's <laughs> made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming I more do not like Earth. Udina at all. Bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. Watch your ass. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council Ooh. can handle this with my help, of course. Oh. Make me mad, Udina. You won't like me when I'm angry. I hate being right. I wish I could say I was surprised. I was surprised Udina bought into it. I guess he's like any other politician. The council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. 
I don't care if I have to go through the council. I won't let Sovereign win. That's the spirit, Skipper. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. <laughs> you made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I didn't think you'd want Mystique. I've always thought of you as the take charge type. Oh, I can take charge if you want. The hell is going on here? Terrible dialogue. That's what's going on. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Thank you. Got a message from Captain Anderson. <laughs> What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. <clears throat> Sounds important. You'd better go. Uh, 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 uh. Don't know what we're doing here. <clears throat> I actually might take some ex technical expertise. Let's do this. Equalizing interior pressure. Uh, just open the door. Atmosphere. What the Lost. hell? The commanding officer is ashore. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Ugh. I totally interrupted the computer, didn't I? <laughs> Exo Presley. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors mm. pleased at this surprising news. Good for Exogeny. Who's this? Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin seen in Algelani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? <laughs> uh, as long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? <laughs> I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So, the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Miss Algelani, I wear the Alliance uniform. And if you think anyone other than me says where the Normandy can go, you're sadly mistaken. No offense intended, Commander. I'm sure you have to follow the orders of your superiors. Of course, now your superiors are aliens. Speaking of your new job, did the council order you to sabotage human research concern on uh. Uh. I'm afraid I can't discuss the details of my missions. So you were there on a mission from the council? That's very interesting. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity <laughs> will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? 
<laughs> Ever read Machiavelli? He believed it's better to be feared than loved. If we build a few dozen more dreadnoughts, I guarantee we'll be respected. I hope they remember that when they pass the next defense budget. One last question, Commander. <laughs> Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Uh -oh. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Could have ended worse. Uh, let's see, we gotta go down to Flux, right? Flux, Flux Capacitor. And we just leveled up. So, well, we're on the elevator. In remembrance of evil. Let's do this. Uh, I don't use pistols ever. Yes, advanced barrier. Upgrade that. Upgrade that so those are equal. For your electronics, because we're going to be going against a lot of gas. <clears throat> Uh, mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, let's do that. I don't know what to do. Let's just auto level this. Oh, armor? Yep, sounds about right. All right. Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance uh, military. Okay. The, the serviceman Bhatia, good job. To the woods, to the woods we go. We're gonna go to Flux. Who's Charles something or other? Seems important. Excuse me, you're the Spectre, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. Cram your honor. What's this riot about? <laughs> I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice uh. Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? Uh. I'll think about it. Excuse me. Your support would mean a lot, Commander. Goodbye. No so long. Farewell. Goodbye. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. It's Commander, actually. What do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. How much shit's Elias on Keeler. this guy's nose? A big session coming up with the Solarians. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. Don't try to sell me on this. Just tell me what you want. I need you to buy a mental stimulant for me. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the med bay. Ah. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. All the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Will overdosing on stimulants and getting arrested help humanity, Keeler? Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what, this will be the last time I use the stimulant. No. After this deal is finished, I'll get treated. You won't be doing humanity any favors if you overdose during negotiations. Get help now. You don't understand! Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant, I... Just need one more boost. Just listen that to what you're like saying. That talking, Keeler. What does it take to convince you? You're, you're right. Uh, 
I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry I came to this. Hey, we saved somebody's life. Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy. Mm, sneaky sneaker. Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few How's this gonna work out? What happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. Wouldn't there be like CSEC guards? Maybe Garrus could give you some info? There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador won't forgive this, Captain. You'll be charged with treason. Capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. Fuck the ambassador. Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel control. Yeah. Fuck Udina. Hate that guy. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. We'll find some the dirt on him too. Get him out of this freaking position. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? <clears throat> Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Oh, we're gonna get there. All right, I see what's up. Hey, good to see another human. You're not doing a very good job of bouncing. I'm just gonna say. Anything we need to do? I don't think so. All right, let's run, run, run. Get back. Oh, you know what? I probably could just use the. Eh, fuck it. Let's use this shuttle. This looks so cool. Besides, it's like right here anyways. Quick run. I just love the way this place looks. In entertainment news, Francis <coughs> has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will that open sounds terrible. The Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. What? I'm pretty sure Hamlet's deeds are pretty bad. Whatever. Let's go check this out real quick, cause I'm pretty sure there's like some Spectre armor we could uh, potentially requisition. You up. We talked to this guy before, right? Hello, Commander. Guess not. Oh, we did. Show me what you've got. Just Sounds very good. thorough in his looking people up. Oh, this must be a mistake. Systems telling me to offer you our selection. Oh. Inspector. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. It was before the Spectre thing. Okay. Holy snap. <laughs> Let's see. Got gun. Oh, uh, yes, please. What's this cost? Oh man, it's more than we got. Ooh, what's that cost? That'd be pretty good. What else do we got here? Human scorpion armor. Wow, what's that cost? 
Oh, I can't wear heavy anyways. I can wear medium, though. Yeah, yeah, I was looking at that earlier, wasn't I? What else is here? No. Oh, well, yeah, never mind. You know what? Let's see if we can't get this shotgun. What do we got to sell here to get a shotgun? <coughs> Not much, it looks like. Not much at all. <laughs> well, we'll start by selling these things, because, yeah. Level 1s, level 2s, level 3s. <laughs> 5, 5. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, need to equip that. Yep. Yep. And I'm doing a lot of just goofing off this time, aren't I? Let's go back to here. Oh, can I get this shotgun now? Haha, -ha, yes I can. That's probably better, though. Not better than this bear boy, but... Oh, well. Switching it up. Switching it up. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Who else uses... Tali uses shotguns, right? Not gonna give her the best, but... Since we're here. Look at all these. Oh, those are the three are the same. Put on here, yeah. We don't have anything. Well, probably won't be using her anyways, but we can give Rex a cool gun. All right, no more fucking around. Let's go back to this the ship. A Dark research Day. station on Novaria has reportedly been destroyed. The exact cause is currently unknown. Given the research conducted on pretty, Novaria, pretty well known. Blaming the destruction on an experiment gone awry. Administrator Analeus probably faces criminal charges as a result of the disaster, although the nature of the charges remains unclear. <clears throat> Good to know. It's all hush hush swept under the rug. Back to the ship we go. Do we level? I don't think so. No, no leveling. I always get jittery, get towards the end of the game, like, did I forget something? I'm pretty sure I did forget Stand a lot of things. I didn't do like half the contamination. side missions. Anderson, what are you doing here? <laughs> punch him! Punch him in the face! Yeah! <laughs> we are green to go. Get us out of here, Joker. Loading, loading, loading. There's a mass relay. Message coming in. Patching it through. Of course. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. Who cares? I don't agree with everything you said, but at least you got her on your side. I just hope it doesn't damage relations with the council. <laughs> the council can kiss my ass. I'm entitled to my opinions. When you wear that uniform, you <laughs> represent the Systems Alliance military as a specter, you uh... represent humanity. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. Okay. Fifth fleet out. Nobody cares that I just stole the ship. <laughs> All right. Here we go. So there, 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 there. 
Hilos. Know where we gotta go. Oh, we gotta check out the other planets of the system first. You know, no ambushes or something. Ah, nothing much here. Alright. This will be the final hour. Skipper. For now. The Alliance has to catch me before they can strip my rank. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. As I recall, the Captain dies in that poem. <laughs> Next time, I'll stick with Tennyson. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. Well? We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. Well, and if we don't, she got, we got here by happenstance. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. We've literally never had this conversation before. See when you look at me. No, oh my no, god, no. Strong, passionate man with a great ass. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did Where is this coming from? This makes no sense. You make me feel good enough. Okay, perfect. With everything that's going on you're worried about the crew aren't you all right we'll put a pin in it Just yeah because it makes no sense jealous. after though assuming we don't get the firing squad i'm gonna blow your mind i guess i'll head back to my bunk and um find something to entertain myself sleep tight shepherd bridge to commander shepherd we're five minutes out from the mu relay <laughs> Okay. I'm coming up. Prep the ship for silent running. Aye, aye, sir. That was just a dumb interaction. All the way around. Like, it, nothing I've done in the game has led to that point. Yeah. <laughs> uh. A couple half assed conversations about being a specious. Oh, uh, whatever. Adrenaline. That's what it is. It's just adrenaline. <clears throat> Makes everybody horny. <clears throat> uh, Commander? We've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. <laughs> Gear up and head of course to Joker can do Joker. it. Drop us right on top of that bastard. The most badass pilot there is. 
Alright, guys. Let's go fuck some shit up. The boys are back. The boys are back in town. Land, fuck up some geth. Think. You two, keep moving inside. Ah. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> we have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Why, why are you using the sniper rifle? Ah, there they are. Knew they were going to show up. Let's clear out this. Yes. <laughs> oh. Shotgun's really nice. Oh, yeah. Barry up. Shock troop bull crap. Whoa. Big things. Everybody, everything you got, right on that freaking piece of shit. Get your ass up, Garris. Oh, damn. Rex is down, too. Which weapons? Well, worked for a little bit. We got one. Trooper. <clears throat> Nora, I got you. Get off me. What are you doing over there? All right, we're gonna have to get him. Ooh, loot. Close the gap, close the gap. Got him. All right. That was a good landing, I guess. This is a good place to pause this episode before it gets too long because I know that this is a long, long, like, series of events that happen. So that'll be the next episode. But, uh, feel free. Oh, wow, we leveled up too. Let's uh, do some level leveling. Yep, we're gonna do that because that's gonna be useful later. Oh man, you didn't know. Oh yeah, I guess he wasn't with us last time we did all that. Let's do this. Rex. Or not Rex. I have a new. Yes. Huh. <coughs> Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Kinetic exoskeleton. An exoskeleton. Huh? Let's do that. Let's see how that works for you. Let's see. Garrus is good with things, I think. Let's just make sure. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty much good on that. Hmm, I wonder. I only got one slot right now, so. Let me get you some better armor, because, yeah. Let me get you better armor, too. It's not really better, you know? Uh, ooh, you know what? We may be able to do something with that. Let's try this. And then...
Let's see how that works for him. I'm doing like a lot of fine tuning. It's probably boring as hell. All right, but we're gonna save this, pause the episode here, or <laughs> pause the episode, end the episode here. Sorry, can't talk all of a sudden. But uh, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you all next time.